ES Audio. Hi, I'm Mark Blunden and this is the Evening Standards Tech and Science Daily. We're bringing you a special episode today in line with the release of the highly anticipated animation film The Bad Guys. On the outside, the five of you are villains. We're going behind the scenes with one of DreamWorks top executives and finding out how technology has developed some of the most popular animation films of all time. Our presenter David Marsland caught up with Kate Swanborg, Senior Vice President of Technology Communications and Strategic Alliances at DreamWorks. How did you get into Hollywood yourself? What were you studying and then, and then how did that translate to, I'm, I'm going to go work for a major studio now? <laughs> oh, well, my educational background was theatre. And it was an amazing educational background. And when I was in postgraduate studies getting my master's, I was focused on stage management, theatrical stage management. I truly loved that. And my uh, supervisor at the at the school I was at called me when I was graduating and said, hey, Kate, I have heard about an employment opportunity in the Los Angeles area. And I said, oh, well, that's an that's a great phone call to get. Right, David, you love those phone calls. And I said, please tell me more. He goes, a friend of mine is working on an animated show and they're they're looking for help. And I said, do you mean cartoons? <laughs> and he said, well, yes, they don't call it that. But yes, that's what I mean. And I said, I said to him, I said, Steve, I don't I don't know anything about cartoons or animation. And he said, Kate, you know everything you need to know about helping a group of artists get their work done, realize their best artistic work. Go take the meeting. It was some of the best advice I'd ever had. A few weeks later, I started on the original Space Jam with Michael Jordan. And that was my first foray into the world of animation. I then went on to work on the original Shrek. And uh, at this point, the, the executive at DreamWorks said, Kate, we've got an opportunity in the technology organization that we'd like you to consider. And I laughed. I really did. I laughed. I said, David, I don't, I don't know anything about technology. And he said, that's OK, Kate. They don't know anything about production. <laughs> and of course, this was many, many, many years ago. In fact, it was 20 years ago. And now you've got this new release, The Bad Guys, which looks incredible. How much has technology advanced? Is it what, what could you do now that you couldn't do when Shrek came out? When CG animation first started, some of the constraints were that the characters and the environments had to, um, they didn't have to, but the, the, there was simply not enough compute cycles in the right software to do anything more than sort of a, almost a plasticky type of look. I remember in the early days of the studio, what an amazing leap forward it was to have uh, realistic fur and clothing. And then it was another leap forward to have gorgeous water or smoke effects or fire effects. And each one of these incremental visual opportunities for the filmmakers to use and they started using them in conjunction with one another and what we've done technologically is sort of on both fronts first of all we keep trying to create uh, software and tools and tips and uh, techniques that allow a new visual opportunity for the filmmakers to use and then equally important we have to go in and make those tools efficient and effective so that we can actually render those images or store those images or compute those images in the time and the budget allowed if you see the bad guys oh my gosh i am so excited about this movie one of the most amazing things about it is that there's actually parts of it visually that almost look 2D. And so I feel as though one of the things that's happened technologically over these years is that we continue to unlock all of the possibilities so that there aren't actually artistic constraints. And that way that whatever the filmmakers are envisioning can actually end up on screen. DreamWorks deals with data and an animated movie is all data, isn't it? Isn't it crazy? It's, it's one of our uh, best kept secrets. Our films right now are CG animation, computer generated animation. Now, I actually don't like that term because it gives the impression that the computer generates it. Our brilliant artists generate it, but they use the computer. And what that really means is that everything you're seeing on screen in some fashion was crafted inside the computer. So like one of our characters has a geometric shell and they have a set of software code on the inside that be, works with the animation tool. It's called a character 
our movies, by the time we're done making them, usually have somewhere in the neighborhood of 500 million digital files that make up the movie, half a billion files. And they all work together. And some of those files are about the character structure. Some of those files are about the color or the lighting or the rendering or the effects. But they all come, they all get composited together into the movie that we know. Let's sell the bad guys. You've already done a really good job of selling it before. Make me go and see this movie thing. This is super fun. This is based on a wildly best-selling uh, set of books that are about these fantastic animals who have always been bad guys. Mr. Snake, Serpentine, Safe Cracking Machine, Imagine Houdini, but with no arms. Jackpot, yes! Miss Tarantula, our in-house tech wizard. Where'd you learn to do that? Mostly YouTube. They are the slickest, the smartest, the most successful criminals. They can go in and rob any bank. But what happens in the movie is that they are forced to actually ask themselves whether or not they should become good guys. Look, it's a cat stuck in a tree. What does your heart tell you to do? A good person would smack it, in it, stab it, saute it. It's so obvious. I want you to save it. Oh, right. 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 <laughs> and I will tell you, it is funny and fresh and interesting. And I think it's one of those wonderful heist caper movies that we all love to see where you're not quite sure how it's going to end. DreamWorks has a leadership team that's loaded with women. But is that typical within animation? Should there be more women saying, yeah, I can do this role? Should there be more women? I think women are capable of doing everything that we've talked about. We would love to have more women in our engineering world. We would love to have more women in our artistic uh, areas. We we truly want passionate people that, wa that want to come and share that. And I think that DreamWorks is uh, is very happy and proud of the of the work that we've done there, and continue to look for for more opportunities to do that. And I think that you know the entire industry continues to try to look for more opportunities there. But please, yes, if if you if you are an aspiring woman engineer, if you're an aspiring woman actor, uh, or or uh, frankly, if you're anyone, let us hear from you. We, <laughs> like I said, we want passionate people at DreamWorks Animation. So thinking about where animation was 10, 20 years ago, in the next 10 or 20 years, where is it headed? Oh gosh! Um, if if only if only I had a crystal ball. I think that one of the things that you know, as we continue to go forward, that I'm very excited about is that DreamWorks Animation continues to diversify its filmmaking crews and people and leadership. We've recently announced a partnership with historically black colleges and universities here in the United States uh, to increase our interns and and filmmaking in. In the in the minority and uh, opportunities there, and and I truly think that that is one of the great things that is that is um, both happening now at DreamWorks, but also going to increase, which is our ability to increase the types of stories we tell and and the cultural stories we tell. It's something we're very, very invested in. We're super excited about. And animation, again, is an art form that is just ripe for those imaginations and to bring them to life. That was Kate Swanborg, SVP of Technology Communications and Strategic Alliances at DreamWorks. The Bad Guys is out in UK cinemas now. Come back at 4pm for the Leader Podcast, where we bring you the latest news, interviews and analysis. This podcast will be back on Monday at 1pm. See you then. <laughs>